If you've got arthritis, you know the struggle is real. Those aching joints can be a real pain in the, well, joints. But guess what? There is something you can do about it, starting in your kitchen. Today, we're going to spill the beans on the top 10 foods you should avoid if you want to feel better. So let's dive in and find out what's on the no-go list for all you arthritis warriors out there. Number 1. Red Meat Red meat like beef, pork, and lamb might not be your joint's best friend when you have arthritis. Why? Well, it all boils down to what's inside it. Red meat is loaded with saturated fats, the bad kind of fat. When you eat too much of this stuff, it can turn up the volume of inflammation in your body, and that's the last thing you want when your joints are already acting up. Red meat also packs a punch with something called purines. These can transform into uric acid, which can spell trouble for people with gouty arthritis. Too much uric acid can lead to painful crystal deposits in your joints. Now let's throw in a little science. Studies have shown a connection between red meat consumption and an increased risk of inflammatory arthritis. Some researchers believe it is because of the compounds in meat that can mess with your immune system. So what's the takeaway? If you're battling arthritis, cutting back on red meat might be a smart move. Go for leaner protein sources like chicken, fish, or plant-based options. Your joints will thank you. Number 2. Alcohol Alcohol can be a double-edged sword. It might offer temporary relief by numbing the pain, but in the long run, it's not doing your joints any favors. Alcohol can lead to dehydration. When you have arthritis, your joints need all the lubrication they can get, and alcohol can sap that away. Dehydrated joints can be even more painful and stiff. Moreover, excessive drinking can harm your liver. The liver is crucial for processing toxins in your body, and if it's busy dealing with alcohol, it might not handle inflammation as well. And inflammation is what brings on that arthritis pain. Now about that study, researchers have found a link between alcohol consumption and an increased risk of developing certain types of arthritis. If you're dealing with arthritis, it is wise to cut back on alcohol. If you want a way to relax, consider alternatives like herbal teas or non-alcoholic drinks that won't dehydrate you or worsen your joint pain. Number 3. Dairy Products Dairy, like milk, cheese, and yogurt, is often seen as a source of calcium, which is known for strengthening bones. But, and this is a big but, dairy can also have some downsides for people with arthritis. They are packed with something called casein. Casein is a type of protein that can be a real troublemaker. Some studies have hinted that casein might trigger inflammation in the body, and inflammation is like the fuel that keeps the arthritis fire burning. But that's not all. Dairy also contains saturated fats, and we've already talked about how these bad boys can turn up the inflammation dial. So when you combine casein and saturated fats, it's a nightmare for your poor joints. Now, let's not forget about lactose, the natural sugar in dairy. Some people with arthritis find that it does not sit well in their tummies, leading to digestive issues. And when your tummy's upset, your body's not in its best fighting shape against arthritis. But don't worry, there are plenty of non-dairy alternatives like almond milk, soy yogurt, or lactose-free options that can still give you calcium without the potential downsides. Number 4. Fried Foods Fried foods like french fries, chicken nuggets, and onion rings might be delicious, but they're not doing your joints any favors. The trouble with fried foods comes down to the way they are cooked. You see, they take a nice, healthy ingredient and dunk it into a bubbling pool of hot oil. That might make them crispy and tasty, but it's also a bit of a troublemaker for arthritis. First, the high temperatures used in frying can create something called advanced glycation end products, or AGEs for short. These AGEs can increase inflammation in your body, and that's a big no-no for arthritis. But wait, there's more! Fried foods are full of trans fats. They not only make inflammation worse, but also mess with your cholesterol levels, and that's a bad combo. High cholesterol can lead to heart problems, and people with arthritis are already dealing with enough discomfort. Go for cooking methods like grilling, baking, or steaming to enjoy your favorite foods. Number 5. Salt Now it's time to talk about the sneaky troublemaker that often hides in your kitchen cabinet, salt. How does it work? Well, salt contains sodium, and excess sodium can lead to water retention. When your body holds on to extra water, it can cause swelling. 
Swollen joints are not your friends when you're dealing with arthritis. They're like a painful reminder that your body is in distress. Now let's get scientific for a moment. Research has shown a connection between high salt intake and conditions like rheumatoid arthritis. Some studies suggest that salt might influence the immune system and how it responds to inflammation. So there's a good reason to take salt seriously. You don't have to go completely salt-free, but keeping an eye on your sodium intake can help ease the inflammation and make your joints a little happier. And hey, you can still add flavor to your meals with herbs and spices that are kinder to your joints. Some excellent options include turmeric, which has natural anti-inflammatory properties, and ginger, known for its soothing effects. We've made it halfway through our list, and we sincerely hope you've enjoyed it so far. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and ring the notification bell if you want to see more content like this. Let's move forward with the video. Number 6. Nightshade Vegetables Tomatoes, potatoes, peppers, and eggplants. They all belong to the nightshade gang. Now you might wonder, why the fuss? Well, nightshade vegetables contain something called alkaloids. These are natural compounds that, in some cases, can cause inflammation in the body. For people with arthritis, inflammation is their arch enemy, so they need to watch out for anything that stirs it up. Now before you go emptying your pantry, remember that not everyone with arthritis reacts the same way to nightshades. It's a bit like a food sensitivity. Some people can chow down on tomatoes and peppers with no issue, while others might find their joints protesting. So here's the plan. If you suspect nightshades are causing trouble for your joints, try an elimination diet. Cut them out for a few weeks and see if your pain and stiffness improve. If they do, you might want to limit your nightshade intake. But if they don't seem to bother you, feel free to enjoy your tomato sauce and mashed potatoes. Number 7. Highly Processed Foods These are the convenient snacks and meals that come in colorful packages, but they can bring a world of pain to your joints. Most processed foods are loaded with additives, preservatives, and a bunch of ingredients you can't even pronounce, and they all trigger inflammation in your body. Studies have shown a clear link between high consumption of processed foods and an increased risk of developing inflammatory conditions, including various types of arthritis. The trouble does not end there. Processed foods are usually lacking in the good stuff your body needs to fight inflammation, like antioxidants and essential nutrients. So not only do they promote inflammation, but they also deprive your body of the tools it needs to combat it. The solution? Opt for fresh, whole foods instead. Fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains are your best friends when you're battling arthritis. They provide the nutrients your body craves and help soothe inflammation rather than fuel it. Number 8. Gluten Gluten is a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye, and it's well known for causing issues in people with celiac disease. But what about its connection to arthritis? Well, some individuals with arthritis, particularly rheumatoid arthritis, may experience benefits from reducing their gluten intake because gluten has been linked to inflammation. Now, let's not assume that gluten is the enemy of everyone with arthritis. It's a bit like the nightshade vegetables we talked about earlier. Some people with arthritis find that gluten worsens their symptoms, while others don't notice a significant difference. However, there is evidence to suggest that gluten sensitivity might be more common in people with autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis. A study published in the journal Cureus found that people with rheumatoid arthritis are more likely to have gluten sensitivity. Autoimmune conditions occur when your immune system mistakenly attacks your own body, and gluten sensitivity aggravates this response. Elimination diets involve cutting out gluten for a few weeks and carefully observing how your body reacts. If you notice an improvement in your arthritis symptoms, like reduced pain and swelling, it might be worth limiting your gluten intake. Number 9. Corn Oil Corn oil is high in omega-6 fatty acids. While our bodies need some of these fats, an excess can throw things out of balance. When you have too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s, the good guys found in fish and flax seeds, it's like adding fuel to the inflammation fire. See, in the world of fats, omega-3s are the peacekeepers, helping to reduce inflammation and pain. On the other hand, omega-6s can be troublemakers, revving up inflammation and making your arthritis symptoms worse. To make matters more complicated, corn oil is often used in many processed and fried foods. 
There's also another thing to consider, the omega-6 to omega-3 ratio. In a balanced diet, you want these two to be in harmony. But with corn oil, it's easy to tip the scales in favor of omega-6, creating a pro-inflammatory environment in your body. So if you're dealing with arthritis, it's a good idea to steer clear of corn oil and opt for healthier fats like olive oil or canola oil. Number 10. Deli Meats Alright, let's talk deli meats, the sliced goodies you often find in your sandwich. Now, these might seem convenient, but for folks with arthritis, they can be a bit of a pitfall. Why, you ask? Well, it's all about the hidden ingredients and the way they're prepared. You see, deli meats are often loaded with sodium. Remember what we said about salt earlier? Excess sodium can lead to water retention, causing swollen joints, and that's a big no-no for arthritis. And to make matters worse, many deli meats also contain nitrates and nitrites. These chemicals are used to preserve the meats and give them that appealing pink color, but they can be troublemakers for your joints. Some people with arthritis find that nitrates and nitrites can trigger inflammation in their bodies. Also, deli meats can be high in saturated fats, and we've already talked about how these fats can turn up the inflammation dial in your body. So it's a bit of a triple threat to your joints. Sodium, nitrates, and saturated fats. So it's time to take charge of your diet. Cut these troublemakers out and opt for healthier alternatives. By making these dietary changes, you can help ease inflammation and make your joints a little happier. Your body will thank you for it as you continue your battle against arthritis. And keep in mind, you're not walking this path solo. There's a whole community of arthritis warriors out there who have faced similar challenges and made similar choices. They have found support, encouragement, and inspiration in their shared experiences. So as you navigate this path to better health, reach out to others, share your story, and learn from theirs. Together, you can find strength and motivation to keep going. Do you find this video informative or helpful? Let us know in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Don't forget to like and share. Stay healthy!